Alright, so we are here now with Forza Motorsport 3. Uh, we're going to be saving to the hard drive this time because uh, I'm I'm a little scared to save a game this large to my memory unit. Because if something goes wrong with my console, at least I can swap the hard drive. I can't swap the memory unit. Um, How familiar are you with racing games? The choice you make will affect which driving assists are activated. Okay. I'm going to click on regular. Puts the power and potential of hundreds of the world's most coveted cars in your hands. We have arranged a race in the Audi R8 to introduce you to high performance driving. Okay. Audi R8. Let's uh let's get going. So I know this shows a picture of a 360 controller. I'm not using that. I got myself a nice uh, PS PS5 controller. Don't come at me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this uh, this episode, as stated at the start of the uh, the video, uh, is just being recorded. There's no actual live stream for this one because I wanted to record it and actually run a couple of tests on this one um, because I want to try and bump the quality up in my video editing software. See if I can make it look a little crisper for YouTube. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the assist. This is also the point where... I'm going to go over assists. I'm going to go over what we start with as well. So, uh, auto braking is going to be off. Uh, Anti-lock brakes will be on. Stability control will be on. Traction control on, I believe. Uh, shifting is going to be manual. And suggested line will be uh, braking only. Now, traction control I may turn off. Um, depending on how we go. But, um, yeah, manual shifting is a must for this entire playthrough that we've been doing. So, we're going to stick with that. Uh, and here we go. We are ready for the pre-race. I know this is going to get, like, demonetized. There's music everywhere and all sorts. You can't turn it off. Uh, so, let's go. And just get into it. The Audi R8. A beautiful beast this is. I will admit, though, I do not like the controller layout. Oh, oh, a bit of contact already. We've been racing 10 seconds and already had a collision. Oh. See, this is a thing that all the other Forza games were missing, like Forza 1 and 2. is the fact that you could jump into a higher performance car. It would... It would give you a taste of what's to come. Uh, and it was actually a really good feature. But they didn't feature it in Motorsport 1 and 2. So I think that's why that game... I don't know. Maybe felt a little bit... Naff? I'm not sure. This is the best in the franchise. Other than Motorsport 4, by the way. Uh, and it's one of the big ones that I'm really looking forward to playing through. And uh, this circuit as well is the circuit that replaced Test Track back in the old game, uh, back in Motorsport 1 and 2. It's quite a fun track. It's quite enjoyable. It's definitely better than the old Test Track. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really solid track. And obviously you've got testing circuits elsewhere, uh, sort of off-up towards the north or whatever, etc. 
south, east, west. I don't know. Off to the side, there's two other circuits. One, which is a... This is sort of like a street-based circuit. The other one's more a actual race circuit. And the final one is more a test track for uh, smaller cars. So, it's got a good variety in this area. You can actually see one of the tracks up there, I believe. Which is very nice. Another cool feature about this game is it does feature rewind. So, that's going to be extremely exciting. I love the sound of the Audi R8. Beautiful sounding car. There you go. Across the finish line. Uh, chances of us getting demonetized very high, but uh, oh well. Your first car. Any of these will be competitive. So for this, we need to pick ourselves our first car. So. What I'm wanting to do is take a European car uh, due to some of the formats. This one can be used for two of the events. I believe the Fiesta can be as well. Um, but I really want to take the Citroen C4. So we're going to be taking this car for our starting playthrough. Uh, we're not going to be doing season play, by the way. Uh, what color should we go for? I like a nice blue. Let's go for a blue. You'll see that in the next thumbnail, by the way. When you're ready to get behind the wheel, choose Go Race. In order to begin your career, choose Season Play. No. I'm going for the event list. So uh, this is the event list of Forza Motorsport 3. It is huge. We have championships that contain 13 races. I mean, we haven't had a championship this big at all. Um, ever. Really. Um, so these are the two events that we're actually able to take. We're going to start with the European Manufacturer Open, Front Wheel Drive Open, and then potentially move on to the Asian Open, but make sure that we're taking a, um, probably a all-wheel drive Asian car, because I think that's the one that makes the most sense, because then Rear Wheel Drive American is the final uh, two, and then we've just got to have a two-door, a three-door, a four-door, and a five-door car. Uh, and I believe this section will be three episodes, actually. We should be able to get the first ten done in three episodes. Um, so yeah, that's basically the introduction to Forza Motorsport 3. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I will see you all in the first episode, which will be airing in a couple of hours, so you won't have too long to wait. So I will see you then. Peace out.